I need to warn you about these four sovereigns, but before I do, we're going to take a look at this little date run I've got. So I've got two runs here, and they are just at the bottom. We have the full run of Jubilee Head Gold Sovereigns. So they are these here. We have from 1887 up until 1893. Then the next is the old head, which is at the bottom. And we have here from 1893 up to 1901 and including. So the reason I want to warn you about these four sovereigns is we have different Victorias, okay? So we've got, you'll see here, a couple of different dates. We've got two 1887s up at the top. We've got an 1893 and another 1893. So we've got four sovereigns and two dates. So the interesting thing about these, let me show you. We have obviously number one here and number two here. So I'll just let you take a closer look and I just want you to have a, a real close look and just see if there's anything you notice first of all. So they're both the same date. Now, this caught me out when I first got my first Young Head Sovereigns. Now, this one here is a Jubilee Head and I'm gonna rotate that around so you can see. So I'll just do that again. So we have the coin here. I'm gonna just let it rotate this way and we have the Jubilee head there. Whereas this one here is a young head. I'm going to flip the coin this way to reveal the portrait here. So just once more in case you missed it, we flip this way for the Jubilee head and back. So same as George's, same as Edward's, but the young heads, we flip this way. So if you haven't seen a George or an Ed, this one is Ed. And again, we flip this way. So it's, I'd call that like a rotation on the axis uh, as opposed to Young Victoria where we flip this way. And that is actually a shield sovereign, but let's just get that in focus. So we would flip like so, and drop it everywhere. So we would get a bit of focus. We would flip like so, okay. So if you've got these two different dates, it was a busy year for the mints. So they did both portraits. They did the young head and they did the Jubilee head. So they're the same date, they're both 1887, but they are two different coins, okay? So 1893 was the end of the Jubilee portrait. So we flipped that around and we got to the old head. This one here, also 1893, but with Jubilee portrait there. So this was the last of the Jubilee years. This is the first of what is the veil head or the old head or the widowed head, some people might call it, but to be honest, I've not heard many people use that term. So 1893 and 1893. So just in case you come across these sovereigns and you know you pick them up and you're wondering what on earth has happened you know is one a fake it's not necessarily a fake because they were both produced so if you're doing a date run you'll find it a little bit annoying that you need to get the two coins for the date as i found with this one and this one so yeah i had to just pick this uh, jubilee up today uh, because i had the correct date, but I didn't have both portraits. So, well, there we go, I've got them both now. Uh, just a quick point to think about, on the Jubilee head, you'll find the mint mark above the date on the ground there. Uh, that one, I can't just see, oh it does, it's got an N for Melbourne. Whereas on the young heads, you'll see the mint mark here on the Georgian Dragon design. If there is one, it'll be below the neck. So not to be confused with the engraver's initials, which are in the actual neck itself. And uh, yeah, you'll not see it uh, on the ground there. So here you'll see, as I just briefly showed before, we have the 1887 through to 1893. And that is 
all the available years for the Jubilee portrait. And then down here we have from 1893 up to 1901. So that is the full set of those. Uh, you'll see in the background some other young Victorias. And for those, I am two dates away from having all of the Georgian Dragon coins. So Georgian Dragon, this uh, St. George design. Whereas the Shield Young Victorias, like this one, they were from 1938 up until 1887. So not every single year was produced, but there are a lot of those. Um, I need about 36 because I've got a lot of duplicates, unfortunately. So out of, you know, over a tube of sovereigns, um, you know, around the 30, I'm not sure whether it's just over or just under 30 shield sovereigns. Uh, I only have 12 different dates. So the most important thing is obviously to get, you know, good quality sovereigns and some of those earlier dates, you are going to be paying a pretty hefty premium to get good examples. But like this one just came in a best value, you know, at a, a low premium really, which, uh, yeah, very lucky. It's a very, very nice example, but you never know, you know, just over time, you're going to pick up some nice coins here and there and uh, it will get you closer. So if you are looking at a date run, I'd be curious to let to, to chat in the comments, you know, let me know where you're up to. If you are just stacking bullion, you know, whatever soft comes up at a best price, then that's fair enough as well. You know, that's going to be a decent strategy in the long term too. Uh, or if you're more of a collector, you know, are you only buying the nicest examples of whatever you can find and uh, just, you know, building up a good quality stack of, you know, really nice coins. So let me know in the comments. Talk to you soon.